you dislike every bad matchup. But anyway, we are seeing the Diddy, which I think is, Antar I would say, is Antarctic's most played character yep. uh, as of like the last couple of months. Mm -hmm. He's pretty much Diddy, and his pockets are just 599 recently. And we're going to be seeing Diddy Marth on Smashville. So this matchup is just like Diddy has very quick, big hitboxes that like just kind of beat out most of Marth's. And it's very hard for Marth to land because of Banana. Right. At the same time, though, Marth's edgeguard game is very good, and he can punish Diddy pretty hard if he if he does get a hit on him. But I would definitely say this matchup is Diddy favor, so I want to see how Aerial Ace adjusts and see how much Diddy experience he has. Yeah, um, the thing with Aerial Ace and, and Marth, you could definitely get some some very nice, uh, I, get, I guess you could get some very nice, like, burst damage. Because if he can find just, like, a tiny window of opportunity, I know Marth is very punish, like, a very punish-based character. Yeah, his punishes are really good. The thing is, Marth is very safe. Like, right. He's a very safe character. He's got good punish game, got good neutral. His recovery is pretty safe again, for the most part. But Antares with a massive lead here. Already right. already almost 100% lead. Oh, my god. Got Aerialist off stage without a jump. Doesn't go out there to gimp him. Yeah, the rising, I was going to say, you can actually crouch under that with Diddy, the rising shield breaker there. That's actually, like, crouching against Marth is very underrated. And a lot of characters have, like, low enough crouches to, like, make it harder for him to hit. I'm surprised that Detail didn't hit. Yeah, Tarps just has a lot of options right now to just kill your release. It's just how, that's just how Diddy is. And just in terms, I guess, I've seen, I've seen a lot. Ooh, not the best, gnarly. yeah, not the best DI right there. Yeah, because I was, I just made like a little win space because I know that he probably shouldn't have died to that, but he got the cross up up air because he DI'd in on the up throw. You yeah. want to DI that away to make it so it doesn't cross up. Yeah. But either way, Antarps with a decent lead. It's very doable for Aerial Ace because Honestly, like, you have tippers, right? So like tipper right. back air, edge guard, or you know whatever. Like he can definitely bring this back. But Antarps running away with it. Actually, the dash tag unfortunately drops out of it. Missed a little bit of a punish there. Yeah, no, this damage lead is bad, and not only that, but if Entarms actually wants to get some sort of offensive on Aerial Ace, you're going to see Rage actually take a, a huge aspect into this game because, again, Diddy, his, his moves already make a lot of damage. Just yeah, a lot, a lot Diddy, of damage. Diddy just racks up the damage quickly and because he just has such good neutral and he puts yeah. it in a Vortex. Good banana snipe, but, Ooh. and he has Diddy. There you go. Yeah, unfortunate. Like I said, Antarx, he plays very safe, but then he, he just does, like I said, the character knowledge coming in there. Like, that's just an angle that wouldn't work. And he went for it. And now Ariel Ace has a chance to bring this back. I mean, hopefully in Ultimate, he's not going to be, you know, he's not going to he's not gonna be, you know, all, all of the characters just trying to grind yeah, them sell, out. All sell 70 characters on day one. Right. But yeah, Ariel Ace no, brings this right back. Pretty he much just takes one. Pretty much equal percent here. Only down 11, which is almost nothing for Marth. So Antarps had a massive lead, and he just let it go off that one SD. I don't think he's hit him once this stock. No, not at all, actually. Uh, good detail fair there. Yeah, I, I want to point out that every time um, Banana hits Aerial Ace's shield, he tries a shield grab, and detail just beats that 100% of the time. Aerial Ace has got to take notice and stop, stop doing that. Oh, he's got him juggled without a jump. Good air dodge. Detailed off smash. Oh, he, oh, he chokes no. it. He could have done oh. Yeah, and he's got to get it this time, there though. There you go, yeah. Going to take game one. Almost choked that entire game. He, was, he pretty much lapped the air release in percent, and then he choked the detailed up smash, and I was thinking, like, this is not good. <laughs> this is, yeah. This is a little tech flub. But anyway, I wonder. See, that game was closer than it appeared at first, so. I don't know if Aerial Ace is gonna switch. Yeah, he's switching up Bayo. I forgot he also plays Bayo. Yeah, he has a Bayo. I've seen him, I've seen him play against uh, Glare and do a Bayo did it once. It was funny. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say Aerial Ace at Shine played mostly Bayo, and he ended up getting 17th at Shine. Yep. Um, Antarps is actually, I would say, not the best versus Bayo. So this is actually a very good pick. Because I was thinking when I, I forgot about that about the Aerial Ace Bayo, I was thinking he's probably gonna go Rosa, but then Antarps can go Cloud for an easy yeah. counter pick. But now it's a little harder if uh, Aerial Ace can manage to take this game. But same type of same type of matchup where like Diddy wins neutral most of the time, but Bayo's punishes on Diddy are so strong. Oh. As soon as he's off stage or in the air, like you can kind of just do whatever you want. It's just Diddy's weight, and Diddy's recovery. Yeah, right now at this point, it's just it's just gonna come down to whatever Antarps actually knows about Bayo because, I mean, yeah, I don't I don't think he faces Glare at all, and Glare is pretty yeah, much the recently, only yeah. the only prominent Bayo in this. Yeah, region, I was gonna so. say after Glare, there's a pretty yeah. decent drop off of Bayo talent. Yeah. I actually forgot about Aerialist. That should be the stock. It's actually kind yeah. of surprising. Like New England actually is like barren of uh, Bayo. There's a lot like of top tiers New England doesn't have. We don't really have a yeah. Mario. We only have like, yeah. I guess it, with including Aerial Ace, we have like two really good Bayos. And then we have Zarya, who's pretty decent. After that, it's kind of a drop off. But yeah, Antarp's bringing this back. He's It's only at zero. So back throw. Oh, going for down throw oh. dare. Oh, down throw back. You're going oh, for the DI mix up. That was actually really smart. Because if you go for the dare and he, he air dodge, he's just kind of bats with it. Yeah, Antarp's just mashing buttons out of hit stun and it's working. 
Aerial's had a nice lead, now he's just letting it go. Right. Similar thing that happened last game with Entarps. Exactly. I mean, right now I, ju I just want to see Aerial Ace just, just kind of finish this off. Uh, exactly. Yeah. I was just about to say, he's doing a very good job. Now he's playing safe. He's just, you know, throwing out safe hitboxes, going for, like, little confirms. Because he knows that he doesn't have to go in, yeah, especially honestly, on Diddy. Yeah, the one thing the one thing that will pretty much win Aerial Ace this game is just put Entarps in the air. Yeah. Just like play, a lot of those, a lot of those heal slides. Just anything that'll get N tarps in the air, he wow, could get he a lot not, of damage off that. He did not mash that. Grab. Yeah, no, not at all. So he just, he just took like 15, 16 percent there, Ooh, and that's gonna take the stock nice. off. Yeah, that's what yeah. happens when you let um, did he get a lot of damage? Then his back air becomes a kill move. A 68 percent, very strong lead here for Aerial Ace. N tarps right now. He. He's just trying to finish this off in, in some sort of fashion, just trying to 2-0 Aerial Ace. But again, the Bayo yeah, Diddy matchup is just its just so tough. Yeah, it's just, the way it works is, uh, it's just Diddy wins neutral a lot, and Bayo has good advantage state. And right now, Aerial Ace is winning neutral. So <laughs> it's just, yeah. it's one of those things, like the good part about your side of the matchup is now gone. But yeah, anyway, it's definitely doable for Tarps. Right. Because Diddy just racks up damage so quickly out of detail and banana. He just can't get up in the air, like I said earlier. And Trump's right now, he's, again, just trying to get any sort of damage Good without guy. having to be too close. Going to punish Aerial Ace. Just, like, literally him. hit and run away. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's a stock. Not not the best DI there. He should have uh, DI'd in on the AB case. Because if he DI in, the up air wouldn't have linked there. Or at least not uh, killed. So going to game three, I that game was, like, decently close. It's kind of like game one. Uh, where one of the people had a massive lead, the other one bringing it back, and then the, the one with the lead ended up taking it. But I think Antares is staying Diddy. All right, I actually was expecting him to counterpick. Yeah. Go for the Bayo did or something like that. But he is going to go Diddy on FD, a very strong counterpick. Probably, I'd say Diddy's best stage, because Diddy just uh, dominates neutral on the stage. Now you have no way to run away from Banana, nowhere to land. Yeah, no, at, the, at this point, I think... I think Antarps is just trying to stay loyal to one character. And I, I think he may have seen something stick last game, especially with a, with a lot of damage that he took off. Just really, it, it's kind of hit and run. Just get a couple hits and just run away. Because if you if you get caught by Bayo just like this, a lot of damage could come out. Just a lot of burst damage, to say the least. Yeah, I was going to say, every time you get hit by Bayo, it's like 30%, at least. But yeah, only a 40% lead for AA, which is definitely not that big of a lead against Diddy, because Diddy can just bring it right back in two, in two neutral interactions. Monkey flips off stage, definitely a mistake. Either that or a big bait. Yeah, no, that, that could have been a really nice tech there, but at this point, n tarps he's really yeah, just trying out, to grind out AA. Oh, he wow, it's actually working. He's got to wait out these uh, these witch times, because Aerial Ace has thrown him out a couple of times this set. Still yeah. has a banana in hand. And if you get Banana Detailed out Smash, that's going to be the stock. Actually, he might be in Detailed out Smash percent because he's got Rage. Yeah, right now, both of these characters, they have really good kill options right now. It's it's honestly, it's... Uh, oh, I, I think like, missed. Oh, wow. I think it's going to count. It's going to come down to it, uh, especially in the second stock, because this is honestly so close. Both of these both of these guys are actually super close in skill. And just refusing to die right now. Yeah, the up, aerial ace. Did, did he up here is getting pretty stale, so it's actually going to be pretty hard for n to kill other than detail confirms. Oh, my gosh. This is what happens to n -tarps. Is he, he? Oh, F-throw should kill. Yeah, oh, there it is. I was going to yeah. say, Rage F-throw at that percent on Bayo definitely, definitely should kill. And now Antarps has the lead, so when Diddy has a lead and you have to approach him, he's a scary character, because just approaching Diddy is like one of the least fun things to do in this game. But yeah. Antarps keeps rolling, and against Bayo, her back air has so many active frames that rolling is actually just like not that good. Yeah, oh. Antarps just really needs to take a big lead right now. He just needs to keep going with these bread and butter moves. Yeah, that's all Diddy Nothing is. Nothing can just... really do about it. He's just bread and butter, and he's just got to extend his lead. Right. Uh, double back here, yeah. He's got yeah, a bunch yeah, of damage now. Getting the auto cancel into the fair. Oh, big lead here oh, for Antarps. 60 now. See, if I was him, I'd try to, take the, I'd try to get the stock yeah, off, no. actually, just because that way you don't have to deal <laughs> with Rage Bayo. Yeah, no, AA right now. Yeah, no, it's starting to it's starting to become bleak. Good and match. is really playing him right now. Again, good mash out of that grab, and right now it's just a standoff. AA has almost no idea what to do. He just needs to get the stock off and hopefully get something going. But even then, I think Entarps can finish it off right now if he wants to. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, oh, wow. good mash again. Another Antarp's good mash. Really getting out of these grabs, which is what you have to do. Oh, Ooh. Bats within saving him. He's getting close to detailed up smash percent again, just because Diddy has max rage. F throw is going to take yeah. the stock off. Yeah, that, yeah, there it is. So the issue now is now you have a little bit of rage on Bayo and a low percent Diddy, meaning that Bayo's, uh, Bayo's combos are going to be way stronger. Good shield. Oh, he should have. Uh, oh, but he ends up getting the punish anyway. I was yeah, going to no. say, he should have tried to grab it instead of uh, detail. Right now, a really good uh, grab combo could probably bring him up to maybe 40 or 50. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, detailed. going for the grab. Oh, but he, oh, just trying to finish it off yeah, right there. Yeah, he tried to get detailed F smash, but you have to walk up with the detail to get that. He just yeah, did yeah. immediate banana detail. Yeah, oh, the heel slide. Oh, oh, the banana the saves him. The banana. But he's in, he's in bail oh, combo no, right now. Oh, no. Not, oh, back so at punish 60. Landing. Yeah, easy wait on that witch time. That's that's obvious. Obvious witch time there by Aerial Ace because he, he had to land a lag. So uh, every, I think everybody watching here knew that he was going to land witch time there. Yeah. So he just waits it out and then up smashes him and takes the set. And I mean, taking it 2-1. Sticking with the Diddy. 